I'm here today with my friend Kellen. I almost called you Kelvin. Kelvin. I keep wanting to call you Kelvin, but your name is Kellen. This is our second time trying to record this shit because the first time, I don't even want to talk about the first time. Yeah, people are like, oh my god, Kellen. Yeah. It was a disaster. I don't even. I'm gonna just like put makeup on him for fun. I'm not like biggest fan of makeup, but. Because you don't need it. Well, okay. <laughs> The other day, I was hanging out with him and his friends, and we went to Sephora. And I was trying out the, um, I was looking for like a stick foundation, um, and there's the hourglass ones. And I tried, I was like shade matching him. I found like a beautiful, like it was complete, it was totally his skin tone, and like it made his skin look like really good. But forty six dollars, and he's not into makeup. Plus, I probably throw it away. <laughs> White boy privilege. <laughs> no. You can just throw shit away. You know what? No, you need Bro, to check yourself. I'll sell it. I'll sell it on eBay. Oh my god. Well, need to use pony effect, right? Oh my god. We're gonna use pony effect on you today. Can you really? Yes. Oh. Ellen. Yes. What the hell is this? What BB cream do you use when you do wear it? Uh, it's I buy it at Target. It's like. Oh, so it's an American brand BB cream? Yeah. Is it Maybelline or? I think it's like Coverall or something. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, like, baby makeup. <laughs> baby makeup? Baby makeup. That's the kind of makeup that it's the same bitches that go to Hot Topic and steal black eyeliner. Oh, it Ma makes sense. Oh. So like, what were we talking about Um. In, when the first time we tried to record this? We were talking about... I remember I, I did mention how you have so many fucking like haters yeah like actual haters but the thing is i think it's so funny because kellen always comes to me like oh my god what do i do in this situation but i'm like kellen all these people that come to him that come for him and his edges these people that come for him and try to be like oh kellen you're fucking blah, 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 blah. literally nope private accounts well if i look at it they're private a lot of them are but... a lot of them are no pictures of themselves a bunch of K-pop idols on their feed. But, but that's like 90% of my following. Oh that's my the thing. Exactly. His the following thing is, is so different He's like... <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Shake it. I'm just always trying to remind him like, oh. These are literally people that... They're faceless people on the internet. Yeah, I know. And these, like, these people are like affected by the stuff that you do. Like, oh my god. Once you reminded me of that, then it made me like feel better, but... Before, since like even the people that do support me are exactly the same. Like they're faceless and they have like there's, right. There's like a which few, is a few <laughs> rare people that will have profile pictures uh -huh. or like a few photos of themselves, mm. and their captions are always like, "Oh, like I was dared to do you know the selfie challenge, mm -hmm. so here's the photo of me. Don't hate me." If you're not confident enough to post you know your own image, then why yeah. trash on other people's image? So. Right, right. And what it comes down to is not only just like. Because they're so like, they can hide behind all that shit. Mm. And try, that's exactly why it shouldn't matter to anyone if they try, try to come for you. Yeah. I mean, I don't really care anymore. Plus, ever since you did your rant on the Snapchat, it's all kind of gone down. <laughs> like, no one's really come after me. Right. There was that one girl that commented on a recent photo of us, and it was like, yikes, that Korean boo, which was like so confusing to me because I'm just like, where's the Korean boo though? That's the right. question. So. Cause I, all my photos are like in LA, I don't have any, like literally, there's barely any Korean in my entire Instagram account. Right, like, and there's nothing, and even if there is, there's still nothing wrong with it, but like, yeah. these people that say that, I think it's funny because they're the ones with all that shit on their account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you do, there's nothing wrong with it, but the way you act, if a, lo act like a that, lot of them, a lot of the faceless ones say they're like Asian or Korean or mm -hmm. Chinese, and there's been multiple ones that like get, exposed on certain accounts for not actually being Asian right. and a lot of them are like black or white or yeah, whatever. Yeah, so. yeah. But I just try to stay out of that now. So good thing. But it, it's hard to do it, but actually it's not that hard. <laughs> you, you just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I guess because he's so young, he's like, I, uh, for me, I can't just be like, oh, you can just deal with it. Yeah. Be but because, you know, for me, it took me like years to be able to do, oh, I'm mixing in this cover effects stuff. I got it in the deep shade. So I can like mix it in with my lighter shade because his skin is slightly deeper than mine, so a little bit of that in there. I think the main thing that completely got me was when that girl was like, "My friend who used to follow you, like, says that you completely changed. You completely changed. Your feet is different." I was like, "Are you serious? Uh, You're letting something? Oh my god!" And this this bitch has never met him in person. 
no. only knows him online. And that's the thing. People only see a little bit of you online. They'll see what you want them to see. Yeah. And so they're like judging you like hardcore when really what you... Oh, I don't even know. Yeah. I'm gonna go over it. I'm done. It's kind of gone down now that I don't really put my opinion on things as much anymore. Mm -hmm. Because whenever you speak up about something or... Yeah, you defend yourself, and people get really triggered and try to kill right. you. So it just comes. And that's why I, I usually I try not to like do that on Snapchat, even though like people love it. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, people like when I used to speak about things, certain like topics, mm -hmm. um, people liked it mm -hmm. on that were following me and that liked me. But then other pages reposted behind my back and talk a lot of shit, and then I'd get you know all of the backlash from them. So it's like now I choose to stay out of things even if I firmly believe I'm right. I just tell my personal friends about it. Right. And then they like are supportive even if they don't agree with it. Right. So I think and it's important to um, learn early on that the opinion of these people that you don't even know online yeah. shouldn't really matter, but tell him only 15 so he has time to learn. Yeah. But I think honestly, from when I met you, I felt like you were more mature than a lot of other kids your age. Because mm. these, these bitches that are coming after you are probably even older than you sometimes. Mm -hmm. These accounts that roast other accounts. Oh. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Well, I mean, I think that the people that run those pages are, I think they're like good people. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't know. Or they're just sitting behind their fucking computers or their phones. Not having anything else to do with their lives, mm. but talk shit about people. Mm. Because I, when I get like negative comments on my videos, mm. I look at it and I'm like, you literally sat there and wrote that comment <laughs> to try and come for me. Well, the people that like criticize your makeup, like, why are they watching? Right, right exactly. <laughs> if they sat through the whole video to see the final, I know, right? They must. But like you know it. what, bitch? I got my view. That's all I have to give me. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, you're just like Brett and Rock. And I'm like, no, I'm not. But now I keep doing that. Yeah. That, Ooh, yeah. bitch. Look at all my best. Look at that glow, bitch. Nah. Can't have you walking around with your fucking cover roll between. It's not, it's not okay. <laughs> well, I actually barely use that. Like, I. Good. Actually, my first video on YouTube was I literally took a shower mm -hmm. and just sat down and filmed the video. My hair looked like. Ramen noodles and ramen noodles. No, oh it seriously God. did, and I looked like a mess, and I just needed to rant about a certain topic. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on this right now. Yay! And then I posted it, mm -hmm. and it started getting a lot of views. And oh, I was geez. just like, oh no, because I was I was originally gonna delete it mm -hmm. because I looked so bad in it, but um, I wasn't expecting that because I had like 100 subscribers, so I was mm -hmm. like, okay, nothing's gonna get anywhere here. So then the video got like. 1,000 views the first night, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, after a while, it just grew. Now it has like 41,000, so I'm like, whoa. And what was the, the, it was the God 7 one, right? Yeah, the, the one and only video, yeah, the God 7 rant, so. I'll, I'll, like, I'll, link his, I'll link his channel down there so you can watch it if you want. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> watch me rant about God 7. Uh, God 7. His skin is actually really, really... I honestly don't need to, because the only issue with his skin is this redness. Mm. Um, I'm adding concealer only to like brighten the center of his face. And I'm using a beauty blender because this will like eat up all of the extra product that doesn't need to be on the skin. It'll leave um, the coverage that I want and uh, the color that I want on there, the pigment, but it'll take up all the extra product that doesn't need to be there. Makeup on He doesn't need like makeup at all because his skin is like perfect. Got him 15. We'll give him like a year or two and then his acne will start coming up. Oh no. I'm just kidding. But if you like eat healthy, it shouldn't be too bad, right? You have Starbucks for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, that, that's my one horrible <laughs> habit. If I have like $5 left and I'm starving, I'm not gonna go to McDonald's and get like filled up on food. I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get one drink. Yeah, that's, um, my, that's, 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 that. that's my dedication. Oh my god. You love, love him. Anthony or whatever his name is. They, start, they sponsor him? No, they don't sponsor him, but they follow him on Instagram. Oh shit. Uh oh. They follow him on Instagram. Yeah, and I got so jealous. Like, but like, why? I don't know. Does he even do anything on the internet anymore? I remember he used to be like really popping on the internet back then, but now he like, I don't see anything from him anymore. Uh, he kind of, I mean, I think he's like, how old is he, like 16, 17 or something like that? And uh, he basically just spends his time on Instagram now, but he still, he still does YouTube, but he like used to post like every Monday or Friday, like he used to have a schedule. Mm -hmm. And then now he's, Said he's like, I'm just gonna post whenever I feel like it. Damn. 
And okay, bitch. Yeah, so. And he's made some controversial videos and stuff. Like what? So, uh, I think, like, he did, like, a Black Lives Matter video, and I got, like, a lot of dislikes. This and is the Elf um, HG Under Ice Eddie Powder. I love it. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. I mean, I didn't really have an opinion on him. I thought he was funny, but, like... I mean, he, yeah, I can see how he was funny, but, he, like... He, like, met Ariana Grande or something. Oh, so I don't like him anymore. I don't know what he's like in real life. I can't judge. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes people put on, like, personas on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, I know I went through that phase where I felt like I was overcompensating, I guess. I, like, I was being too extra mm. for the internet. But then I started acting the way I do on, which is a good thing, I guess. I was acting like myself in person like I was in real life. Yeah, you act the same. Yeah, I know a lot of people, people are like, are oh my god, true. you're so sassy, Adam, you're so sassy. But I'm like, I'm sassy. Yeah. Well, I think that you are pretty much the same mm -hmm. as you are in your videos in real life. So, it's a good thing. Because, <laughs> like, I watched you online before we met, and I was just like, yeah. Well, I wonder what it's gonna be like in real life. And but did you like approach me about filming my? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna, cause we met through Instagram, and I t I asked him, I was like, can I film at your meet and greet thing? Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, and we just started talking from there. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and he's ruined my life ever since. Just kidding. There was one last weekend, I think. Was it last weekend where I was? You're trying to like, we were trying to record this fucking video, but yeah, it's really hard for me. Yeah. And so like, I'll be sitting at home waiting for him, and then he wouldn't be replying. And I don't know, so I'll waste my days well, here. Yeah, it's it's tough because like, but it's whatever. Uh, it's it's really tough mm. because we and, live, and he is 15, so exactly. Right. I live like an hour away from here, and this is LA. So yeah, thank you for coming out. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to like, they're always watching me, obviously. So I have right. to, and especially because you're. They want you to like be in the Olympics. Olympics. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let's talk about K-pop. K-pop. Oh my god. Who's your bias group? Uh, Who's your bias? <laughs> your alt. <laughs> well, I have like two groups that are my alt okay, right now. Who are your favorites? Oh, did it stop recording? I don't know. Oh my god, I have no idea. So anyway, you're at K-Con. Yeah, I was at K-Con and I can't, like they came up to me and they were just like, oh, like, what are you doing? And I was just like, I, I don't exactly remember the interaction, but I told them, I was like, I don't know what like is going on, so... You don't know what's were, going on? They were just like, oh, God 7's coming on in two hours, and I was just like, who's God 7? Oh! Mm -hmm. And... Oh, so this is like recent! This was in, 20, yeah, 2015. They were just like, oh, they're a boy group, and I didn't really like boy groups, so... Right, right, right. I was right. Just like, uh... Like, yeah, I don't really... I, I, wasn't, I wasn't really... I wasn't really used to the way they looked. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, like, coming from American pop and stuff, like makeup and mm -hmm. different style and all that, like, mm -hmm. I, I wasn't really into it that much, so I only like the girl groups. Right, right, right. So I was just like, oh, who are they? And they're just like, oh, they're coming on in two hours. I'm like, okay, I, I'll wait, because I have nothing else to do, right? Mm -hmm. So we sat around for like two hours, talked about different things, where I'm from, blah, blah, blah. And after talking for a while, I was literally front row, and God 7 comes out. And How did you get front row? Because like we were there for like three hours. Oh, okay, so you were like, like convention. Early. And like, yeah, it was free, because it was part of the convention thing. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, since I had nothing to do, we just talked the whole time. It felt like it went by really fast though, because they were really nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, they came out and everyone was cheering, and I was just focused on filming the entire thing. I was mm -hmm. just like, ooh. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get so many views on YouTube. Like, oh, I don't know who these people are. And um, they came out, people were freaking out, and I just sat there on my phone. The security guard kept trying to block my view, but I managed to get my camera both in. Uh so. And then they came over for photo op. Like I was really close, and like, I could like touch them. Mm -hmm. That's how close. So, oh my God. Uh, yeah, it was. That's what got me into them, I guess. Like the song, and then once the actual concert that night. I think it was that night or the second night. I'm not sure which night got them performed, but their song "Just Right." Uh, yeah, that cute song. Yeah, I was like, oh, like this is fun. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. <laughs> and yeah, like after that, I just started watching their videos, I guess, and started following them and like I don't, I don't really know when I really got super into them. I think like what really solidifies when I went to Korea for the first time mm -hmm. and I went to the um, uh, music show for them and they had their first win. Mm -hmm. If you're about seven fan, you know what I'm talking about <laughs> that day. Oh, you were there? Yeah, I was oh, there. Oh shit, you were there for the first win! First win and 
Yeah, they were like so happy, and I, I didn't really know what the winds worked like back then. Mm -hmm. This and, is the whole system. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I was like really excited because they did like a, you know, the encore or whatever after the concert. Mm -hmm. Um, after they won, they like performed a bunch of songs, like it was a little mini concert. Mm -hmm. And I was front row for that because I was a foreigner and they give like priority. Mm -hmm. All right, definitely. Um, for foreigners. So I got the very front and it was great. I took a lot of great videos, photos, and Mark and Young J high five me. Oh shit. I just had great luck with God 7 But then after that, I left and like I posted my photos on Twitter and I got like 400 retweets in like a few like minutes and I was like, mm -hmm. whoa. Mm -hmm. And on Instagram, everyone was saying, oh my god, you witnessed their first win. And I was like, okay. <laughs> well, All right. What's the big deal? And everyone was like, oh, like they've been working for this for like, I think one or two years it was since their debut. It's like, oh, while wow. these other fucking groups are like mm -hmm. four or five years. Mm -hmm. That was the one experience. And then when I came back to US just recently, flying in LA, mm -hmm. uh, obviously got best tickets for that. <laughs> it had a photo opportunity and the concert was great. Like, I was like, Living, freaking out. You were living. Yeah, I was freaking out the entire time and I met a lot of great people there that were also freaking out with me and we were just freaking like, out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then afterwards we had the photo opportunity and I was already, I was looking like a mess, okay? I was so sweaty, mm -hmm. like my entire head looked like ramen noodles again. <laughs> Except like this time it's not clean hair, this time oh it was like nasty. God. So I was just like, oh my god, like I'm gonna see them like looking like this. Looking <laughs> like this. So when we went to the photo op, I was like, okay, I need to get a selfie because that was my goal and that right. is still my goal. Uh -huh. I, even though I got that photo, I want to take like a close like HD selfie with God 7 and I, I will get that done. Uh -huh. Just wait for the day. Um, <laughs> do this it. is the Ariana Grande. So you, Viva, Viva Glam 2. Exactly. <laughs> this is how you take a selfie mm -hmm. in... In where? Photo op. Uh -huh. Selfies weren't allowed, mm -hmm. so... I had to do it really quick. Mm -hmm. So I turned this on when I walked in and I was I was paying attention to them first and then when I sat down for the photo, before the photographer took the photo, the group mm -hmm. photo, mm -hmm. I uh, I quickly snapped the photo. Like I just went up like this for like a quick split second. With a video on? Yeah. And then you took up like a screenshot? Exactly. Oh my god. Exactly. Well, that's how I did it. That's how you do it. And then there it is. Oh shit. And it's pretty clear, right? Like, and they were, them two were looking, Maybe. JB and Mark, and I was like, yes. Oh. That's cute. So this is like a group photo with Godson. I mean, like this is only for who was who was able to get in. Um, this is for like VIP. It was P one, P one. Oh, P one. Okay. And then P two got a high touch, but they didn't get a photo. Uh, so like the P one, P two people got, you know, those two benefits, but then the rest just you know mm. had to go. <laughs> oh. So oh yeah, after I, after I screenshotted this, I, I thought I went too fast. So uh, I was like, oh, it's probably really blurry or crappy. Mm -hmm. but, right, right, right. That's what I would be worried about. Yeah. But it worked. That's so. Good. Okay, whatever he did. So that that was it. <laughs> uh, and I left, and I remember I like fell on the floor. I was like, oh my god, I got my goal. You got your the, the security was so home. strict because the moment I did that, they were like, no selfies. Oh. And I was like, well, sorry, I already got it. So you're not gonna like take oh. my phone oh. or something. So, Ooh. and then Mark like gave me like a wave after oh. he yelled at me. So I was like, okay, thanks. He knows of your existence. He does. But I look completely different at flying like because I cut my hair and stuff. So I don't know if you recognize me, but oh, you had long hair in this photo. Yeah. Well, no, I I had I had long hair in, in Korea mm -hmm. when they high fived me. Mm -hmm. So and I didn't have long hair flying LA. So I'm pretty sure they didn't recognize me at all. But I feel like makeup looks better on like, I don't know. Asians? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the reason idols look so good with makeup is because of their eye shapes. It just yeah. like, looks good on them. Mm -hmm. and I look at myself, I'm just like, why don't I look like K-pop idols? Oh I'm my god. Like, I'm kidding. Literally every Korean getting started to look like you, bitch. Because Korean features are so like, small. Mm. They, their faces can take makeup. Mm. With boys that have your, your very like, your Caucasian features. Um, yeah, to be careful. Caucasian. Caucasian. Like that? Do you do this like every day? No. No? No. Show them that glow, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Alright, guys, so that was the finished look. Or this is the finished look. I look like myself, except like. 
I don't know, whipped cream on top or something whipped like that. <laughs> You know what? It's because the thing is, your skin is so good that you can see when it's on top of your skin. I feel like that's why you don't need that much makeup. Maybe yeah. Or maybe I, maybe I, we I need no to just buy a forty-six dollar foundation. All right. So if you want to follow him on YouTube and Snapchat and Instagram, I'll link those down below for you to look at. Yeah. And as well as my own. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>